Sylvanas, guide your path. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need.
Sylvanas be with you.
Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. Bravery? No. When it gets you killed, it's just called stupidity. That was lesson one. If Liam had only bloody listened. Small mercies. Don't you lie to me, boy. I know you have it. Touch me, and I'll... If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. Alson, he's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract to track down some relic and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral, but my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? been on our side this far. No reason to think it'll run out now. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Check back, kid. I already told you I don't have it! 
Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Food. You want it or not? Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Oh, where did I put that oak bucket? Good work, kids. All heroes. Each and every one. Ah, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You'll take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. <gasps> you poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help, 
serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Petal. Is it bad? Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Hiding here. Touch me and I'll fight your fingers. I will. Right. I've got food, water, my dagger. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Chucky, fine.
on the road to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. Just keep that thing away from me. Well, I'm in no position to turn down help. We need to be ready for a fight, but I'm useless with a sword. Like this, you mean? Step, step, strike! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. You? Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> 
hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Hmm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. How stupid are you? Waiting to get into me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Don't give me trouble now.
please, last room. It is forbidden. Ah, my grizzle. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back! <laughs> Stop! Another step, and Magrin will tear you open like a sack of grain. It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. I smell drama. 
amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? That'll fit in my pack. Speak. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Gene culamo en umbra tua parter arborum. Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it.
Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, Sif, Tila to me! <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth, if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Say it. You think I'm a monster? First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The Viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I did a number 
on you, didn't it? Does that hurt? I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicat. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. <laughs> 